everyone and welcome to this new video on my YouTube channel. My name's Anita Wong and I'm going to show you in this video how to get a free swipe up inside your Facebook business page stories without needing 10,000 followers. Now this is a new video in February 2022 and I have shown you previously how to do this but the link inside your business page stories isn't visible anymore. So this is a workaround in order for you to actually get that free swipe up in your Facebook business page stories without 10,000 followers. So in order for you to do this, you do need two different apps. First of all, you need the Facebook app on your phone. And secondly, you need the business suite app on your phone. So the business suite app took over from the Facebook manager app. So the Facebook business suite app, this one here, is a grayish looking icon and you can find that inside the app store. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in the video. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're liking this video already, give me the thumbs up. It really helps me as a creator grow my YouTube channel. And if you want more than just these ad hoc videos to help you up level your business, then do check out the Digital Lab and Tech School Academy, Academy, which is a monthly membership that I run, which includes lots and lots of different marketing videos that you can have access to. Plus, you get me three times a week on a group live call to ask me any question you you wish about growing your business online. Okay, let's jump into first of all the app store so that I can show you how to find the business suite app. And then secondly, how to actually create that all important swipe up so that you can lead people from your Facebook business page to any internet address on the web. Okay, so I'm doing this on my mobile phone, which is an iPhone. So obviously, you would need to go into the Google Play Store if you're using an Android. So for the iPhone users who are watching this, we need to go into the App Store, which you can find here. This is the App Store. If you can't find it on your screen, just drag your screen down and type in App, and it will automatically show you the App Store. So jump into the App Store. And all we need to do is go to the search icon down here and type in Facebook Business Suite. Now, once you've typed in Facebook Business Suite into the search bar, it's going to bring you up this one here. So it's actually been renamed as the Meta Business Suite. So obviously Meta is the new Facebook's name. So you want to go ahead and download this if you haven't already downloaded it. If you have got it, make sure you've updated it. And then once you've done those two things, go ahead and click open. OK, so inside the Facebook business suite, or should I say the meta business suite, we have some options. So here you can see that I have my Facebook business account and my Instagram business account joined together. So I'm not going to go into Instagram today. We're just concentrating on Facebook because we're going to be putting that all important swipe up inside of our Facebook business stories. So in order to do that, we don't go ahead and click create post. We click add to a story. So go ahead and click the plus story option. And this is going to bring us into our camera roll. So this is my camera roll with all my recents. But also, if you want to take a photograph or a little short video, you can use the camera option just up here. You can also add multiple stories as well. But for this purpose, just to show you how to put that all important swipe up in, I'm just going to choose one different thing. And I'm actually going to just choose a picture. So I'm going to use this picture here as the option. So I'm going to grab that one. And that's actually a thumbnail of a video that I've done on my YouTube channel. So you might want to go and check that out as well if you want to. OK, so in order for us to put that all important swipe up inside our stories, we're going to click this link icon just here. So go ahead and click that link icon and it's going to ask you to add a web link in here so that you can add the all important swipe up. So I've gone ahead and grabbed a link to my YouTube video, the one that I've just showed you on here, and I'm going to paste it in here like so. Now you can check the link before you add it in if you want to, but I know that the link works. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the done button. So go ahead and click the done button. And what that's going to do is it's going to add that link for you. Now in Facebook, business stories, 
as the admin of your Facebook business page, you can't see that link when you view your own stories. You have to view your story as somebody else. So what I usually do is I jump into my husband's account or I have a look online and just see that it's there. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, we want to tell people to take action on this post by clicking the swipe up button that we can't see at the moment, but it's going to be sitting here for us. So what we want to do is go into the stickers option up here and click up right in here, swipe up. And it's going to come up with all these nice little gifts for us to use. So go ahead and choose one of these that you think someone might take notice of. So I'm just going to grab this one for now. This is quite cool. So click that. And then bring that down to near where you know the button's going to be. So we know the button is going to be in this area. So we're going to have this swipe up here. So then I'm just going to write down here. OK, so I've just written there a little call to action. Check out my latest video on YouTube. You can, of course, make this animated or have a background and change the color by clicking on it, changing the color here. Maybe you might want it to be more red like YouTube. You can actually make the background stick out as well by playing around with the options up the top here. So any of these options here will enable you to change the font and the positioning of the font as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then all I need to do is click share on. Now I'm going to click share on. Now remember that I have my Instagram and my Facebook attached at the moment. And as you can see here, it's saying that on Instagram, you can't have a link because you need more than 10,000 Instagram followers to use that feature. Now, we know that there is the link sticker option on Instagram. And if you didn't know about that, then I also have a video on my YouTube channel that shows you how to use that link sticker option. And I'll pop a link below this video to that video as well. So do go and check that video out as well. So I've gone ahead and unticked my Instagram account and I'm just going to leave my Facebook business page account active. Now, great thing about the business suite is that if you don't want to post your story straight away, you can actually schedule your story for later. So that's another little tip there that if you want to create several of these stories in advance so that they go out at a later date, you can, of course, schedule them. But I'm just going to show you for the purpose of this video that we're going to share it straight away. So all you need to do is click that share button. So I'm going to go ahead and click that share button and it's going to publish this story to my Facebook business page with that all important swipe up. So it takes a few minutes to show your story. So whilst I wait for that, I'm going to swap over from my Facebook account to my husband's account so that we can see that all important link. So this is where you need the Facebook app on your phone. So here's the Facebook app that I was talking to you about. So go ahead and click on there. OK, so I've gone ahead and gone into my Facebook account. I've just borrowed my husband's account for the purpose of this video. And as you can see, there's my Facebook story all ready to be viewed. So I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to wait for that to load for a second. Now, this was one I did earlier and this is one where I used the link sticker from Instagram and bought it over. So like I said just now, if you want to learn how to use this, the video is below. So let's just wait for the next story to come on. And this is the story that I've just created inside my business suite app. So as you can see, I've got my swipe up icon here. I've got my call to action here. And also I have that all important see more button. So I'm just going to go back a second. You see at the bottom here, I have that all important button. If I click it, it's going to automatically take me to that video on my YouTube channel. Just going to show you that again. So this is the one I did earlier. This is the one that I've just done in this tutorial. As you can see, we have the see more button at the bottom. I click it and it's automatically taken me to an off Facebook website address. And in this case, my YouTube channel. OK, so I hope that was a really interesting and very helpful video for you on how to add that all important swipe up inside your Facebook business stories without having to have 10,000 followers. This is such a great opportunity for you to drive people out of Facebook. I know I'm sorry to a website address that you want them to go to. So this could be your own website. It could be a sign up form for a course. It could be a product page that you're selling. 
It has so many uses that you can use for lead generation. Don't forget that if you want to join my Digital Lab and Tech School Academy, then I've dropped the link below this video. And like I said before, if you're new to this channel or you've visited my channel before and you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and give me the thumbs up. And don't forget that if you want to know more about when I'm going to actually publish a new video, which I do twice a week, hit that bell so that you get notification when I either upload a video or I go live and do my weekly Q&As. Thanks very much for watching my video. My name's Anita Wong and I will see you in the next one.